These people are in charge of hosting the ceremony that is Groundhog Day and perpetuating the lore and legend of Punxsutawney Phil. This is the Punxsutawney Groundhog Club rain-making, down-pouring, day-breaking, shingle-shaking in a circle! We have current and past members, and I would like to acknowledge our former members first. First, starting with... Where's, where's Rusty? I want to start with Rusty Johnson. Former Vice President, Inner Circle member for 49 years, 95-year-old Dr. Rusty Johnson, Chief Health Man. I did the math, and Chief Health Man has tracked down and back over his years five and a half miles. Other past members, please welcome Cole Front, Butch Prushnock, Tom Uberti, Big Windmaker, former handler, former president, you know him, Mr. Bill Dealey, Digger O'Dell. Part of mine, Dr. Dave Gelati, Thunder Conductor. Butch Filibur, Iceman. Iceman. One of our newest members, you remember him from the Groundhog Gen. Please say hello to Rob McCoy, Downpour. 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 Jory Sirian, Daybreaker. John Johnson and Chief Health Man 2.0. Jason Grusky, Big Chill. Jeff Groove, Sky Painter. One of our newest members, please say hello. This was his first trek with a crowd. Mr. Pat Cassidy, Head Huntsman. Pat Osako, it's Ozo. They call me Moonshine, and I want to now introduce you to the gentlemen that are in charge of our ceremony. Our friend, your friend, his handler, AJ DeRoom Rainmaker. Vice President of the club and the man tasked with reading today's scrolls, please say hello to Tom Dunkel, Shingle Shaker. And the President of the Groundhog Club and the only man who can speak Groundhoggies has passed down from President to President through his Acacia Cane. Please welcome Fairweather Man Jeff Lundy, President of the Groundhog Club. Gentlemen, our ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from around the world, welcome to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. When I got up this morning, I, my comment was going to be, this is the largest increase in one year we've ever had. But when I got here and I looked out, I'm going to tell you, this is the largest midweek crowd in the history of Groundhog Day. And to steal a line from Woodstock, you people have proven something to the world, that 10,000 or more people can get together at three o'clock in the morning and have fun and music and nothing but fun and music, and we God bless you for it. My job here is really minor. The, the center of attention is Phil and the handler. We're gonna to get to that really here very shortly. 
I have in my hand a cane that's been passed down to me for more than a hundred years that Phil himself whittled with his teeth. With this cane, I hold it in my hand and I can speak groundhog ease, which is wiggles and nose movements. And we'll try to figure out whether I'm correct in interpreting it, because as we all know, Phil is always right. There are people here from around the world, London, Switzerland, Germany, Russia, every country in the world is almost represented. And every state in the United States of America is here. I can guarantee you that. So what I want to do is I want you to give a toast to the world because you're on TV right now and around the world streaming. And our toast is going to be this. We, repeat after me, we love Phil. We love Phil. We love Phil. <laughs> we love Phil. 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 And the rest of the toast is this. May we all live long. May we all live long. Like Phil. Like Phil. All right. Let's get him out. One more. Give me the chant. Phil. We have with us two scrolls that have been prepared. One is spring and one is winter. Are you ready to find out? Yes. Early spring. You look you look beautiful today. <laughs> Billy, help me out. Put your hand on the cane with me. We got a prediction. Yay. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Today, 2 2 22. <laughs> Welcome to Punxsutawney to celebrate Groundhog Day the 136th annual trek of the Punxsutawney Groundhog Club. Punxsutawney Phil, the seer of seers, the prognosticator of all prognosticators, was gently lifted from his burrow at 7.25 a.m., held high to sea. His faithful followers had returned with glee placing Phil on top of the stump, where in groundhog ease, he directed the president, Jeff Lundy, and the inner circle to his prediction scroll that reads, winter has been bleak, dark, and bereaf of hope. Yet winter is just another step in the cycle of life. As I look over the faces, of the true believers from around the world. <laughs> I lost my speech. <laughs> I bask in the warmth of your hearts. 
I couldn't imagine a better fate. With my shadow I have cast than a long, lustrous six more weeks of winter. Six more weeks! Six more weeks! Six more weeks! Well, there you have it. The prediction has been made. Enjoy your six more weeks of glorious winter weather. Thank you all for coming. If you really must go, be careful and get on your buses properly, but we do invite you to stick around. If you would like to come up on stage, take a picture with Phil. If not, mingle amongst our park at Gobbler's Knob. Free coffee, bonfire, 